Well, and last thing I want to tell you is something like, again, the combination of everything. And this is a serious problem, sudden death of a papilla. And it's called papillary necrosis. And basically, it's a combination of everything in the worst way you can think of. So, now you don't care about some tubules, okay? Over here, you have a necrosis of the whole papilla. So, papillary necrosis. So, it's like an atomic bomb. It's an atomic bomb to your kidneys, okay? So over there, before that acute those were small, you know, like small rackets or whatever. Now it's a atomic bomb. And how you create this bomb? Well, very simply. First of all, this is a presumption. The kidneys, they have to be impaired somehow. So they could be ischemic already because of whatever, hypovolemia. So there's some kind of ischemia. Or they can have some long-term disease like diabetes mellitus or whatever. Or... I told you last time, very important, not in Europe so much, but sickle cell disease. Everyone who has sickle cell disease, with the sickle cells which are sort of forming in the, in the kidneys, they're destroying the kidneys. Everyone with sickle cell disease has problems with kidneys. So those are impaired kidneys. Or someone can have pyelonephritis. So inflammation, because bacteria from the urinary tract got to your kidneys, backwards, pyelonephritis, okay? So, and there are many, many other scenarios, but remember sickle cell disease, that's, that's the best example and they give it everywhere. So remember that. Anyways, you know what these people do? And they should not, typically we take it as the non-steroidal effect okay so these guys these all of these guys they do one very bad thing and they will take non-steroidals so this is a molotov cocktail to destroy the papilla because suddenly what happens is there is a massive ischemia of the whole papilla and suddenly the whole papilla dies and forms a necrosis so basically what you're going to get is if this is a papilla, so suddenly this, you know, part's gonna get necrotic and basically fall out. Like, well, there's a necrosis of the papilla, depends, it can be the whole papilla, whatever. This is a, you know, it typically, these guys, they have a fever. It looks like pyelonephritis. They have a fever. And sudden pain, flank pain, you know, in, in flanks. Sudden pain, serious pain. And it looks like pyelonephritis, or you could think of a stone or whatever. But unfortunately, it's this worst version, because in this case, there is no way back. They're dead. Like, papilla is dead at the time. You have, I don't know, 13, 15 papillas per kidney. Sometimes you can lose all of them. And it's just this combination of decreased perfusion, sickle cell disease, and non steroidals very typically. And there's no cure to this. It's the end for the papilla. And if all papillas die, it's the end of the kidney. Okay. And it very much, you have a fever. That's non-specific, but then you can have a increased sedimentation rate, whatever. But the important thing is flank pain. And typically you have a history of non steroidals Okay. And the thing is, when this necrotic part gets out, you pee it out. So typically you see parts of the papilla that you are peeing out in the urine. And it looks just like pyelonephritis. And so sometimes, as I said, sometimes first you have pyelonephritis. And if you cause a serious ischemia of the papilla, you're going to have papillonecrosis. But... The important thing for you is to tell a difference between pyelonephritis, so infection, and papillary necrosis. So what's the difference? Well, there's a flank pain, that's it. This one is faster in one hour, two hours. This is like slow. 
What else? Well, you take urine and over here, urine is sterile. Or you can have a parts of papilla over there. Over here, urine is positive for bacteria, for example. Okay, so it's not a sterile urine. Also over here, they have dysuria, bef you know, during that. Uh, you don't have to have that with papillary necrosis. That's a, just a sudden pain. But the most important thing, which you're going to, of course, always do, is to do a CT or sono. Okay, or it doesn't matter. It's the same. CT and sono. And what will you see in case of papilla? You will see, and it's without contrast, what you will see on sono is like how the, they have a different transparency, how the papillas are dead. You call it bumpy a kidney, okay? Compared to inflamed kidneys with pyelonephritis over here. Of course, it's going to be swollen kidney, like it's going to be diffusely swollen. Okay. So these bumps over here, they are very much characteristic. And this means no cure and pray that some of the papillas will still survive. Okay, so no cure. Over here, of course, antibiotics. So papillary necrosis, that's the, like, you have all, everything over there. And it's like a sudden, you know, the flow to the papilla is stopped. And then there's a sudden necrosis infarction of the kidney. Yeah? Okay. So, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.